Hello Realish Racing fans, this is the Realish Driving Simulator Gran Turismo 2. I'm Alex and I'm here with Dan as always. Hello. Hi Dan. Hello, nice to be back. Good to be back. Feels like we were never away I know. from this fictional map. <laughs> 20 years I've been staring at this screen. 20 years, blimey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that made me feel old. Yes. Oh, it has been that long. But what were we doing not one week ago? Well, last time we we had the... I can't remember what car we bought now. Was it a Daihatsu? Something or other. And we did these lightweight races. And, and we lost the last race, so we had to sell it. So I can't go in here and remember what it was because it's gone. <laughs> we did. <laughs> but in the process... We got a Demio. We did get this Demio, Demio. I don't know how to say it. Demio. 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 Demlo. D- and the, D-M-E-O. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, so my thoughts were, if we jump in this handy prize car, because we had to sell the whatever we used last time, because of our rules of if we lose a race, we'd sell the car. Indeed. It was a... Kuor XX, wasn't it, or something? Oh, yeah, that was what it was. A Kuore. Kuor, however. Kuore. But, yeah, let's take this little Mazda out for a spin. So, what have we got? What, what requirements do we have for these races? The Compact Car Cup, that's the one. Right, so that's... So, we're at 99, and we need to go up to somewhere near that. Yeah, but not quite that. Not quite that. Um... Although it's probably going to be a bit tricky to get that to that. Well, it all depends on how much the basic turbo, the staple of every Gran Turismo modification in the early game, <laughs> how much that will give us. So let's go and have a look. That's a reasonable jump. That's a healthy bump for stage one, isn't it? Yeah. Or we could go. We could spend a lot of money on stage two. What's that? Four grand for other things to make it then stable. Possibly. Should we do that? Should we should we take a risk? Yeah. We'll uh, we'll make it good. Yeah, we've got a small collection of backup cars. Yeah. So we can probably afford one minor change. Brakes, maybe? Help slow it down again. Depends how you're braking it at a corner, I guess. Oh, we can't, we oh, can't no. afford brakes. Oh dear. <laughs> um, tires? They were really expensive. Oh yeah, wow, even those. Six grand. What about making it slightly lighter? Adding some lightness. Add lightness. Yeah. What stage? Let's do that. That's nice and cheap. Fairly essential as well, I feel. Yeah, yeah. Not that it weighs much, anyway. No. So what, what performance figures have we got now from it? 800 kilos, that's that's a lot of power, and uh, the power to weight of that is... That's like 300 per tonne, isn't it, or 250 per tonne? That's, yeah, yeah, that's probably comparable to some Ferrari of the late 90s. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, here we are, we're going to jump in our silver Mazda Ferrari. Ferrari Beta. Ferrari Beta. Of course it does that by default. What would there be? No Ferraris in this game. Exactly. <laughs> All right, and we've got Autumn Ring. That would be our first sort of classic track if we get to that. Oh, yeah. The, we've, the, we've had high speed The ring. mini circuit. But, yeah. Let us see. When was Ferrari first in the series? Ooh, what's that engine noise? <laughs> wow. Is that supposed to sound like that, or is it a glitch? <laughs> Uh, it, that's amazing. It sounds like a slide whistle. <laughs> that's the Audi, that's the Audi R18. Yeah. Quattro, isn't it? E Quattro. That must be a glitch. I can't hear it at all now. Oh really? Has it gone silent? Oh no, there it is. It's just whistling away. <laughs> You've got to break for the corner. Is that wrong? Wipeout or something? We're being harried by this micro. Whilst listening to some smooth jazz. Jazztronica. 
which is what I now know that this kind of music is called. Yeah, because like, it's, uh, it's, it's 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 very similar Japanese to the jazz fusion. Yeah, yeah, I do have a Spotify playlist now with loads of stuff like this. It's very good for concentrating, and yeah. working too. But it's good to know what it's called because I didn't know when I was thirteen what this kind of music was called that I really liked and seemed to be in all the menus of my race, my favourite racing games. Yeah, yeah. I always just thought it was just sort of oh, that's what game music sounded like in the nineties. But it's just what Japanese sort of music culture kind of was in the early nineties, and a lot of the people from those groups and bands and whatnot did the music for games so that's why it translated indeed and now I know like playing Mario Kart listening to the songs in Mario Kart it is it's just super super friendly K-pop <laughs> but obviously it's, it's not to us it's just it's Mario Kart music yeah oh look at that oh as we whistle across the line it sounds like in I think Ridge Racer Type Four. Yeah. There was like there was like a hovering fan car. Yes, vaguely remember that. Um, yeah, and that's what that sort of sound reminds me of. I think that's thoroughly bizarre. I don't remember ever hearing anything like that. No. A very unique engine sound. Four grand and a new car. Brilliant. And that nice glitch again. That's pretty. Yeah, we love that uh, color band. So we just go straight on to the next race? Yeah. Strike by the iron top. Yeah, same horsepower limit, so probably the same cars or similar cars. I'd think so. Another fluorescent yellow Yaris, maybe? Yep. Yep. <laughs> or is it a Vitz? Ooh. I think it would have been a Yaris in this. <laughs> and a Micra, and that, that engine noise is hilarious. <laughs> That's utterly ridiculous. The... W <laughs> the Mazda Speed is is it got a wankle in it? Is that I what it is? It's, I don't think so. It's actually got a rotary engine, and we've turboed it to warp drive. And it power oversteers as well, like any good front-wheel drive car. I mean, <laughs> it, that seems to be working for you. It does. This is lovely. He says, going into the wall. <laughs> I also figured out what it is we're doing technically at the moment. We're playing A spec and B spec at the same time. Oh, we are. Wow, what's you're, that like? You're, you're a playing point A spec. spec. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a point B spec. Yeah, it's like, you know, go for the overtake. Go on, go for the overtake. So does that mean when we get to some <laughs> of the longer races, you're going to call my pit strategy? I mean, I can try. I, d I, I don't think I ever got to a pit stop in a Gran Turismo race, ever. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I always found Gran Turismo was fine for 10 minute races, and anything more than that would, I don't know, I'd just get a bit irritated by it. Ah. So let's do a different race now. So the endurance ones I sort of stayed away from. Yeah. But hopefully we'll get there soon enough that I can experience them. Although I doubt we'll stream a whole one in its entirety no no that would be uh, <laughs> that would be a commitment commitment to watch yes <laughs> <laughs> this car is epic it looks like it's on rails it's really good I mean I it mean, literally was on a rail then but yeah <laughs> I mean, what a car. I oh my like god, that's ridiculous. That train. <laughs> it's because of the rubber banding. Yeah, it has to be. I mean, they're not doing any silly lunges or anything like that, so... I mean, this is this is brilliant. That was... yeah. That'll do. So a bit more money and another new car. Boom. Must have paid for the turbo, almost.
Right, do we think we can jump straight in to this autumn ring race? Because I feel like mm. the car might be good enough. Are there, are there any other options to use it in? Oh, what, other races? Yeah, bef Ooh, before we do that one, because we don't want to lose it. No, we don't. And maybe maybe there's an FF? An FF race, that's a good Race shout. that we could enter. Oh. Oh, okay. Tahiti hmm. Road, same power. Okay, so it's probably best It to... might be worth upgrading it to do both of those races, hopefully. I mean, we ten we have a K car r cup race to finish, don't we? Yeah. Because yeah. we lost it. We did. Oh, but we're way over the horsepower limit, of course. Yeah. Um, what can we get for our 10 grand in mods on this car? Wheels. New wheels. New wheels. <laughs> Thinking about it, the wheel shop is always the first place I would go. Yeah, same. I'd buy a car, I'd go to the wheel shop, find some nice rims that went well, then I'd go and upgrade the rest of it. Because at least I knew what the wheels did, they made the wheels look pretty, whereas all of this, no idea what it does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, before it's always just be... Makes more and bigger explosions. Yeah, I I just make the power more because why would I spend five grand on something that keeps the horsepower the same? Surely that doesn't mean it goes faster when you're exactly. nine years old. So who cares about yeah. suspension and brakes and tires when you've got a thousand horsepower? Yeah, well every day you go to school and it's like, well you know the bigger numbers mean more. Exactly. So like, well, yeah. okay, there we go then. It's all about the big numbers. Should we stick this muffler on it just to give it? <laughs> a bit, a bit more room. Yeah, and then and then try a the bit other one. Right, let's let's try that last race. Oh, how about? Oh, have you just about got enough money for for some um, for the tires now? Oh, like the yes. sports tires. Yes, that's a very good shout. They were six grand, weren't they? They were. Let's do it. Let's yeah, do it. That'll, that must, yeah. Let's spend all That's that money. Got, got 89 credits left, so we lose this race. Thanks for watching the series, and we'll be <laughs> along with another one soon. No pressure. With an idea that works. Yeah. <laughs> or we'll change the rules of this on the fly. Yeah. Because that's the whole point of rules, isn't it? They're all made up. Yeah. Oh, we've got a teal Yaris this time. And it's the full. The full autumn ring. Well, I've thrown you in at the deep end. Yeah. What have we got? Is that a Saxo? A Saxo. A Lupo. I'm enjoying the colour uh, the colour palette of this race. Yeah, it's fantastic. Is yeah, stunning. Nowadays it'd all be grey and silver with maybe one red. Yeah. So many grey and silver and black cars. Yep. Car parks sure do look boring at the moment. Well, it's getting a little better now. Three or four years ago, just everything was just silver or black or grey. Yep. It's because car manufacturers have started charging for any colour that isn't white or silver. Yeah. So no one wants to stump up the money for a wacky <laughs> colour. Although my car is white, but then it looks very good in white. Yes, it does. And this one is silver. So yeah. yeah. But silver in the late 90s felt like a novelty. Was uh, You can't respray cars in this one, can you? No, that didn't come along until Grand Tour 5, I don't think. Oh, really? Yeah, and even then you had to. You couldn't just do it any color. You had to buy a car in the you color you want. You had to get the chip, didn't you? You had to get a paint chip. Yeah. Yes. Oh dear. Yeah, I remember that. That was hilarious. But, but, oh, Falls has got this really cool livery editor where you can do anything you want to your cars. How about we 
let you change the colour of your car, but you have to acquire the colours. You literally have to go and buy the paint, yeah. Yeah. And only if the paint was available. Yes. Because they weren't all available. It was in true Gran Turismo style. It's like, yeah, no, we've only got these paints today. Yeah, they're refreshing a week. <laughs> This car is absolutely fantastic. I mean, maybe for a little while we just have to see how far we can take this, because... Maybe, yeah. It's a special little thing, isn't it? It really is. We we'll definitely try that FF race. Hot off the heels of this one. Oh dear. Bit of slow down there. Yeah. It's the only problem with this is that you can drive brilliantly for 90% of the race. And then because the AI just sticks to you, you make one mistake at the end and it's all over. You can't build a gap. No, in it has case to be a 100% perfect race, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. I mean, it's only one step short of being a blue shell, isn't it, really? Yeah. Having every single other car in the race right behind you, ready to pounce on any mistake. But yeah, I, I approve the colour palette in that race. Greens and purples. All matching. Right. Let, let's jump into that FF race, and then we'll go and see what cars we've won. Ah, oh, Tahiti Road again. How will this tackle Church Corner? Um, probably turns it into Church Straight. <laughs> <laughs> church <kinked>. Wall Ride. <laughs> the Church Kink. Or right. is that a Lupo or a Polo? I think that's a full on golf. Really? Of course, they were that small back then. Yep. Oh, a McGann Coupe. Oh, I love that car. Me too. And a 306. Oh, lovely. We're going to thrash them all. With any luck. That's insane. It's just... <laughs> oh, they're gone. <laughs> You're actually gapping them as well. If that's the term we're using. We're using it now. Look, there's visible pixels between your red dot and their green dots now. Oh, there is. That's some serious gappery. Right, here we go. Church corner. Oh, I've gone in too hot. Still definitely a corner. Yeah. Retro BP logos. The Renault logo, which is now exactly the same as that. <laughs> Ooh, it's almost getting air over that crest, it's so quick. <laughs> oh. can enter it in some of the rallies. Ooh. Stick some dirt tyres on it, and away we go. <laughs> oh, you know what we need to check out as well. What's that? See what the racing liveries are like for this, if there are any. Oh, yes. Maybe I'm hoping too much for a. Uh, was it? Um, was it cherry soul red? Oh, what the Mazda sort of racing? Yeah, the one that's on the well, not now, but the old DPI. Yes. Yeah, I don't know why they stuck with the white one for that. Sponsorship, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it looks fine, but yeah. it's no... It's no soul red. It went black in some lights, didn't it? And then just... Just this vibrant, metallic, ruby colour. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I mean, even their dots have spread out. Yeah, it's like you break their toe, and then all of a sudden they split apart from each other. <laughs> You've only got yourself to blame. It's a slipstream coming off of your car that's pulling the other five along. Yeah. And as soon as that's broken, the train is broken. Right, so, we should have... Well, let's check out that racing livery first, and then we'll go and see what four cars we've got. Let's head back to the garage of treasure. Okay. All oh, right. That's yeah. That's more of a the sort old, of 
90s red, yeah. The retro Mazda. Yeah. Motorsport livery. Maybe we'll get there. A little way off yet. Yeah. It looks good though. It looks like a mini, um, the estate Volvo from the British Touring Cars. Look like a oh, squat, one of them <laughs> in the blue. Right, so we've got a Yaris, which is probably a Yaris. Same. There is a there there is a Yaris race though, isn't there? Yes, I think there's some manufacturer races which these could be quite useful for. The Lupo, you can you can cup that up, can't you? The Lupo, Lupo cup cars. Yes, in the later games they were sort of there as the cup cars, but I don't know if the racing liveries of that will be on this. I imagine the Lupo was fairly sort of new when this game came out, like... It was the new small yeah. Volkswagen, wasn't it? Beneath, beneath the Golf. Ooh. Got a Mugen Accord. That could be... I mean, that's nice. Yeah. And that's a good base as well for some other races, I would think. Yeah, push that forward to maybe if our car can't cope in the higher FFs. Yeah. Well, we've got saloon car cups and stuff to come, so yeah, yeah. that's nice. I wonder if that, when you put the... Uh, or is it the European... I imagine it's the European version that becomes the BTCC Accord. Although I'm sure that's got a lovely... Let's have a look. Super Taiku livery. Ooh. Or something like that. I've been absolutely laced with sponsors. The options. Oh. oh! They tease us the, by the, having the orange dot there. They do. That dot should be de oranged. Right, what have we got then? We've got these. Oh, 295. Yeah, the Demio can do that, I think, can't it? Right. I'm getting there and do it now. Yep. Oh, we we got in the we got, we got in the accord for a spin. Sorry. Yeah, these races are definitely sort of speculate to accumulate because you don't win any cars for these, but you have to do all of them before you can enter these, which I think you do win quite good cars for. Okie dokie. But we can we can earn money from these. Money and experience. Yes. Each time putting the fear into the hearts of our rivals. I mean, news is starting to spread around to the Gran Turismo universe with the silver Demio. With the little silver Demio that could, would, and does. <laughs> so we've got one of those Tommy Kyras in this race, which slightly worries me. They're nippy, aren't they? Yes. That's not a saloon car, that's a proper sports car. <laughs> But to think it's a front wheel... Oh no, it's not front wheel drive. We're not in the front wheel drive race. It's the Japanese race. Yes. What's this? That was a lovely... Uh, What's this in front? In front? Yeah. That's a Sylvia. Oh yes. S, S14? I don't know. I don't know my Japanese uh, chassis names. <laughs> it's always it's always one that passed me by. The, the Sylvia and the, the Silati, which is the cut and shut basically, isn't it? Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's the, it's the 180 with the Sylvia front end because they're based on the same chassis and apparently it was sort of an aftermarket thing because with drifters because the parts for the Sylvia were cheaper, right? Because uh, it doesn't have pop-up headlamps, so when they sort of damaged it and stuff, it was easier to bolt those parts onto the front end than than the 180 parts. Okay, so that's how you know the difference. Yes. I will go and investigate the one that looks like one nearby to me and figure out if it is one. Oh, really? Have you got one near you? Possibly. Like I say, I'm unsure. <laughs> but it's in that ballpark. How's the gap looking? Not so much of one. That's reasonably healthy, though. Not ungapped to them yet. No. So I think we can do a 3-4-5 race in this without modifications. Yeah. I, mean, I might have to crash less than I am at the moment, but... 
sounds so hilarious, just whirring away. That's ridiculous, yeah, I've sort of got used to it now, but then it's like, no, cars don't sound like this. What have we made? What have we created? <laughs> it's going to reach 200 kilometers an hour, easy. Yeah. I mean, we're thinking about the power, but we're forgetting it only weighs 800 kilos. So it probably can take on some of those higher power races without too much problem. Could enter it into a Lotus 7 race. Yes. Should we sell some of the cars that... I was just thinking that, because we've got no use for a... We clearly aren't going to use now. I think we probably can. Let's have a look and clear out some stuff. Oh, we do have a SIL-80. We do have a SIL-80. That might be good for the rear-wheel drive races with some uh, a few mods on it. Yeah, well, the Supra didn't do so well, did it? No, well, it would have done if I hadn't binned it. <laughs> the Beats. That could be useful for that last K-Cup race. Yes, it could. Should we get in that and... Should we? Let's do something with this. Yeah. So the whole episode's not just driving a whistling Demio. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's give it a little... A little bit of breathing. Breathing? Breathe, miss, can I go out and do some breathing? <laughs> right, can we go? Oh, that's too much. Damn. Oh, no. I'm going to have to find other ways. <laughs> I, always, I always didn't understand why the intercooler wasn't available. It's like, well, there's nothing to intercool. Yes. <laughs> hmm. That's not the best way, is it? No. I mean, tyres? What track, uh, not, what track not, is it on? Not without the a bit more hook to back it up. Yeah, it's on a power circuit. Tahiti Road. Hmm. So, oh, is, there, is there a beat race? There is. There is. I wonder if we could win that. Let's do a, a subtle power upgrade. We'll do that. Win, the, win that, and then use it to take it further. Yeah. So let's let's give it a muffler and and a remap. Who doesn't like a nice ROM? Oh, lovely. Anything else? Mm, don't think so. Let's just see what it does. Let's go beats and beats. Beats and beats. No license required. Oh, really? So you can just go and do these races before having got any licenses? What? Why is it on test course? <laughs> Two laps of test course. <laughs> Oh well. At least it's not the uh, the Grand Tris the one because they, they changed it after this one to be like ten kilometres long. I think this is a lot shorter, thankfully. You're right. It was a long boy. We appear to have the power. Are oh, they will stop then? I guess we'll just stop beats. They must be, yeah. But also basic beats, and we're in our Mugen beat with a hard top. And twin rear exhaust by the looks of things. So you know it's good. Well, we're not going to have a sixth gear though, are we? Was it Real Car Reviews that had a beat on fairly recently? I think so, yeah. I do remember seeing a beat on. It was just so tiny. Yeah, like so much smaller than you would imagine it being. And I remember he noted they and all the bits on it, like the wing mirrors, they're not just the smallest wing mirrors that Honda made stuck on a small car, they made super small wing mirrors and super small everything rather than just using the smallest bits available and putting it on a small tiny chassis Yeah, it's all bespoke, isn't it? I had a purple one of these in Gran Turismo 5 Oh, really? Yeah, and I... <laughs> that, that circuit is just... 20 miles up and down a motorway at night time. Oh yeah. 
God. Did, there was a race in it in that. Oh, it was so ridiculous. <laughs> Two laps of this. Yeah. Fast forward through this one in the edit. I think so. <laughs> Since we all seem to be going exactly the same speed. The rubber band is still there. Yep. And everyone's. Oh, that's good. I thought you'd only done half a lap, but the start-finish line was at the top of the track map. Yes. Lovely skyline on this track. It's a beat, actually. Well, hey. No. no. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uh, effort's gone into the pixels in those mountains. Yeah. And that ominous black cloud. And the gradiated sky behind it. <laughs> this is some serious banking, isn't it? It really is. It's like Bristol Motor Speedway, but bigger. Don't think it's in Bristol either. No. Come on the little beat that could, the final 700 metres. Ray. Oh, okay, no. The star line is the 400 metre line. Look at that Joker in fifth entering with a thoroughly basic one. What did they expect? First gen. Yeah. Do we get any money for that? Oh, yeah. Right. Do we just take it into the uh, the other race? Yeah. Because I don't think we can add any power without it costing far more money than it's going to give us back. Not even if we uh, drill out the cylinders a bit, pull I think them that, out. It costs, like six, that... I think it costs like six grand to do that. Okay. And it gives you like three horsepower. It's always financially beneficial to lose the race at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Although if we win, we get a good chunk of money. Come on then, beat. Let's see what you got. I imagine boring out the cylinders on a beat will. Make it Probably, it'll one the cylinder car more in <laughs> lightness. Yes, <laughs> weight loss than uh, anything else. Also, we've got a mix of um, minibus types and teeny coupe types. Yes, this is where the rubber banding works in our favour. Yes. The only trouble is, there's no braking zones on this track in this car, virtually. So we can't, we've got nowhere to make the time up. Oh, I have, whoa! Whoa! Okay. That was well held. incredibly sensitive. But I mean, it's certainly somewhere you can make time up. Yeah, the only problem is I've got one more chance to do it there. Just make sure you get church right. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's a slingshot. Gravity assist. Fascinating little subculture of cars. Yeah, I really like them. I'd love to have something like this. You wouldn't fit. That's very, very true. I mean, you're probably three times as tall as one just standing up next to it. <laughs> and you say that, I do fit in an original Mini, but they are surprisingly roomy inside. They are. And I'm not sure these are. <laughs> It's because the inside of the Mini is only about a sort of centimetre smaller in volume each way than the outside. That's very true. Apart from the engine bay. And I took a trip to Santa Pod in the back of a Mini with three others and it was a very full car. <laughs> but it still... It was funny because on the motorway, obviously it's, it's kind of straddling the grooves made by the lorry tyres. <laughs> So it's kind of hopping up on almost like it's on a permanent speed cushion. Great fun though. Yeah, I love they sort of constantly bob up and down, which is hilarious. <laughs> right. Is that enough? I think it could be. Very well done. Well done, little beat. That's, that's, that's a good result, that is. It's done what the Dohatsu couldn't. Oh, 
beat one too. How many monies? Wow. Well, that's more than we had when we started with the beat, so... Thank you, beat. It's paid its way, and we've got a car on top of it as well. Which will make it almost as tall as a regular car. <laughs> Uh, not if it's another beat. No. Right. That would be a bit annoying. Got CRX. A, another Mugen. So we've got ooh, three Mugens. Right. Should we sell some things? Should we lose the, the Mazda 323 that we started out in? Yeah, we're not going to need that again, are we? I don't think so. Four-wheel drive. We did... We did the four-wheel drive ones, didn't we? Or it, we're not going to be able to get it to where it needs to be. No, we're better off buying something new with that. So let's get rid of that. We might use the Silati, so we'll keep that. Yes. We'll keep the Demio. I can't imagine we're going to need this again, are we? Um, No, it won't. It's not really useful anywhere else, is it? it no, so... It, not um, not to be too disparaging to it, but it's not going to do too well against other mid-engine cars. No, it isn't. It's uh, when we come up against a Venturi or something. Yes, <laughs> or an NSX. So let's get rid a of a Mugen you. NSX <laughs> with a snorkel. Oh, lovely. <laughs> um, um, we need to keep those three to do their own little races in. Oh yeah, we'll... Uh, so maybe that's something we can knock out in the near future. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll sort of build up a collection of these sort of things and then we'll go through and spend a whole episode clearing off some of those. Mm-hmm. And making sweet, sweet profits. <laughs> uh, the Accord, we might need that, I can imagine. But the CRX... Not doesn't really fit anywhere at the moment, does it? No, it's sort of the Demio sort of covers what that would, I think. Whereas the, yeah. the Accord can be tuned and used in other things. So, And I doubt the CRX is going to sound as good as the Demio. Exactly. So, uh, let's say goodbye to that. Right. And then there were six. And then there were six. So it's keeping it nice and uh, trim. What should we try next? Hmm. Should we do something with a Silati? Let's let's do that. Yeah. What's let's get in it. Let's go in Oops. hunt of some FRs. Okay, that's probably not going to happen, is it? <laughs> <laughs> four, four, three. Who were? Um, I mean, we could try a Sunday, the last Sunday Cup race in it, or a Clubman Cup race. Yeah, probably makes sense to get those out of the way. Yeah. Let's go and see what happens if we put a uh, a big turbo on it. Actually, what year is this car? It's one of the ones where it doesn't actually tell you. 1989. Ooh. March 1989. I don't know if it actually was, but it says it. So, I think we can call this an 80s car, can't we? I know the game will let us enter the 80s race. I mean, oh, it said 1989. It's got four horsepower too much. Oi. The power output of the car exceeds the regulation. You cannot enter. Okay. Maybe maybe we buy a car. Can we buy something that combines sort of two of these? Like a a luxury four door from the eighties or a well, that's quite high power. Or a convertible, an 80s convertible. Oh, let's go searching for a, a used 80s convertible. Should we have a quick look in America? Because we talked last time about some wallowy. Yeah.
that's not convertible, but that's particularly terrible. That looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these, look at these. Why would anyone buy these in any serious playthrough of the game? They're just, they're just like road barges, aren't they? Yeah. The, the the soft top car isn't in this, is it? No, I don't think that'd come out by the time or when this game was. Oh no, that was probably yeah, a couple of years afterwards. The Puma, oh, oh. I have such a soft spot for that car. Yeah, me too. It's a shame they've all sort of rusted away now. Yeah, owned owned or co-owned one for a little bit. A lot of fun. Have you ever seen one in that shade of green? Uh, no. Only in this game. Yeah, that seems but it's like... it's a nice, it's a nice shade of green. It is. And of course, uh, a couple of years after this, there was the bright yellow Millennium Edition, wasn't there? Oh, yeah. Not having much luck here. No, I don't think we're going to find cheap 80s convertible here, are we? Let's go to... The only place we can get cars from at the moment. Right, what's going to have a convertible? Toyota. What convertibles do Toyota make? I mean, the MR2, but. I was thinking if there might have been a, a Celica or something, or yeah, an MR2. That's possible. Are there any newer ones? No, we want latest ones, don't we? We still going for a soft top? Um, well, we can sort of go soft top, estate, saloon, mm -hmm. and then sort of any of those. We can we can race in a few different types of race. This is lots of Sylvia cues in this phone book. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, there really are so many Nissans in this game. Yeah, you can see why they've been a long-time partner. Yep. The, that Stagia could be fun. It I could. I was thinking maybe a, a Subaru Forester or something. Oh, there is a Forester in this, isn't there? If we were looking at wagons. Oh, there's a Legacy wagon as well. Oh, and they, of course they've all got wagon versions, but... Oh, that's quite good. That's quite a lot of poke for the uh, price. Yeah, shame it's silver. <laughs> What's this one? Black. Oh, Out of our price range now. We haven't got enough money for the custard yellow <laughs> one. <laughs> Ambrosia yellow. Lovely. That legacy could be, even though it's silver. That's alright. We can always just sell it. Or an Impreza. That could do the four-wheel drive as well, couldn't it? It could. You got a Mitsubishi. The Hero Mini. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Such a shame there's not like a little off road race or something. Yeah, it'd be good fun. A little bit of autocross or something. Oh, there's the Legnum again. Yeah. It's not as much power as I was hoping for. And only FF. Yes. That's the short of us. Yeah, there is. I knew there was a four wheel drive version. That could be quite interesting. 256 hoops and it's got winning in the paint name oh well that's all the convincing I need right well there we go let's look no further let's get it all oh, yours for only 18599 that's almost a real price almost should be 995 shouldn't it but you know we get we get 500 off that way yeah right Let's give it a 
I feel like weight reduction will be an important thing because it was quite a hefty boy. We're just shy of stage two, aren't we? Yeah, I think that's 5,000, 6,000. Um, has it got a racing modification? Oh, it has. Oh, look at that. Look at those three spoke alloys as well. Oh, wow. They've got a little bit of a twist on them as well. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's saucy, that is. What about a ROM? The ROM upgrade we doesn't do anything. Eh. It's not really worth it for that, is no. it? No. Right. It's now, at this point, we go into the races and find out it's useless for anything. <laughs> Seattle, short course, maybe. Um, where's the estate cars? There they are. Oh, it's a lot of power again. I didn't realise they were so demanding. Well, we need to finish this episode off with a race. We do. I'll just finish it off with <laughs> no, <laughs> poking around right. the garage. So, let's... What should we enter? Where should we... Should Sunday we do... Cup, let's Club do... Cup. Let's finish off the Sunday Cup. Mm -hmm. We'll see how far it takes us. Because it'd be nice if it, the most expensive car we bought at least won some money. And now we watch it fail. Yep. And hopefully the four-wheel drive will launch us ahead of the pack. I mean, sort of. It's got us in the pack. That alpha won't make it to the end, so we don't need to worry about no, that. No, that's very true. <laughs> Ooh, TT. Wow. The uh, the Angry name alpha. on the back of the car is almost so big that even with the pixels, you can almost read it. It's saying almost like, legible, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's almost got eight times the definition of the uh, reflection map above it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that was actually attempting to replicate the track and the scenery, or is just a generic reflection? I think it's a... Uh, well, it's pretty generic. Whether they maybe had three or four, depending on what the general colour of each track was, so at least it... Maybe, maybe it's specific to each track. Yeah, I mean the colours sort of look like the colours of the track, so... Hmm. But then nothing changes through this tunnel. No. <laughs> Oh, gonna to have to cut this. Oh well. Just as well you're in a four wheel drive vehicle. Exactly. Right, what have we got on the straight? Might be a bit of a weaving job. Oh, but look at, oh well, look at this. Sylvia coming up. Oh, that would have been a very tight across the line. Alright, let's make sure it's not. It was about now I'm really wishing that I bothered to put manual gears on. For a bit more acceleration. Yeah, it's got a very lazy gearbox. <laughs> Looks like it has a very small turning circle there. It does, it's surprisingly live. <laughs> you just threw that sideways. It's like the uh, Demio's big brother. Yeah. It also says Audi S3 coming through. Back when Audi S3s were the size of Audi S3s. Yes. And not Audi S4s. <laughs> or RS4s as they are now, because, you know, letters. That was tidy. That was. Oh, oh well, that's, that, that's enough, gap. surely. Yeah. You don't even it. need to weave. No. They're catching quickly, but not quick enough. They're blocking each other to <laughs> over the finish line. Oh, the Alpha did finish. A respectable fourth. And Kimi Raikkonen would be overjoyed if he finished fourth, wouldn't he? Yeah, well, he'd be... In his Alpha Romeo. He'd have the same... Emotion. Sorry, over... Yeah, not overjoyed, just, you know... He'd be more non plus than normal. Yeah. Inwardly overjoyed. <laughs> right, should we give a Club One Cup one a go? Or Grindelwald? Let's give Grindelwald a go. It's always a bit of a... This one's always a tricky one, isn't it? It's a very tough track, yeah. But I, it's one of my favourites. Kind of wish it was on other games as well. Yeah, it's got a, it's got an interesting flow. Yeah, you sort of, you get it right, 
and it's really good, but it's very easy to get incredibly wrong. I can only imagine that maybe if they'd have brought this circuit through to newer ones that... See, this bit here always seems very... It seems so steep. I know it's supposed to be al alpine, but some of the... From the width of it as well, it seems so very wide. Yes, it's definitely not narrow like it should be. Oh, That's all beautiful. Right. Now, I seem to remember there was some sort it's of an integrale. AI glitch where sometimes they just turn into the wall going down here. And what Not does that do? The... Give them a speed boost, or no? They just you know derail them. It's they slow down and uh, it ruins their race. And so everyone made it through. This is surprisingly good. This car. I mean, considering we've got like a TVR in the race and it's holding its own. It is. Oh dear. Oh. Shush, I've got plenty of storage space. Oh dear. Uh. For some reason I forgot that I was playing a PS1 game then and <laughs> pulled the trigger to accelerate and started using the analogue stick. Whoops. Oh, it's a 406 coupe. Oh, lovely. One of the best looking Peugeots ever. Oh, there we Whoa. go. Oh, yes. TBR got doinked. Result. Oh, done, Legnum. Right. So well, that was a fair amount accomplished. That was definitely a lot better than the first one. Did we actually lose a race in that one? We didn't, did we? No. Wow. It's a drastic improvement. L little more forethought. Yeah, we're getting some money coming in now, and hopefully we can put that to good use. Maybe do some of these higher up races, so we start getting some better cars and better bases to progress from. Sounds good. Yeah. So let's park it up for the for tonight. Let's lock the garage, and uh, yeah, that uh, paint name lived up to expectations. Indeed, it is, it is very turquoise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll see you next time, Dan. Yeah, we'll uh, catch you again soon.